Hello everyone. Today I'm going to start a series of short videos on my street photography experiences. I've been doing this in my hometown for the last 13 years and it's been fun, rewarding and even surprising. And I got some stories I'd like to share. My name is Brian Carey. Welcome to Photography and the Creative You. I began my street photography back in 2008 and what got me going was a conversation I had with a guy, a retired fireman. I was out one day going around town taking some scenic photos and so was he and we both chatted for a while and he told me he was at a local office building and he sees some wonderful portraits of some of the characters we used to see around town years ago and we both thought it was fabulous that someone took the time to take these photos and create these memories. And it's something I've been thinking about doing for quite some time, and I decided this was the time to do it. I was also going through some sort of psychological dilemma. I was doing some soul searching and thinking about what I was doing with my own personal photography. Was I really just traveling around trying to take some nice photos? There had to be more to it than that. I wanted more. So I started out with a more traditional street photography approach trying to capture small city life around me. But one thing I wanted to do was to say hello and talk to people. A lot of street photographers are imposing, some are even aggressive like paparazzi, and I wanted no part of that. That's not me. So I wanted to photograph a lot of the regulars around town. One guy I wanted to photograph was a man who sold newspapers downtown when I was a boy. His name was Carol. So I approached Carl many times. I asked him if I could take his photo and he always said no. I explained to him that he was an icon downtown and I just wanted to take a nice portrait, but still no good. Eventually, I brought down a print portfolio. I showed him some, some of the portraits that I've taken and what I wanted to do, but he still said no. So I never did take his portrait. There were other people you would see hanging on our street corners or walking the streets for hours on end. I was later to find that some of these people had mental health issues, some had substance abuse issues, and a few of them lived in some of the remaining boarding houses around town, and they had to choose between sitting around the boarding house, watching TV all day, or out roaming the streets. And then there were the buskers and the panhandlers. One thing I wanted to do, I wanted to raise awareness about panhandling downtown. I thought if, if the people in the community were more aware of this, something might be done about it. But I noticed over the years, the number of panhandlers have actually increased. And I had to contend with the thought that I may not be helping at all. There was this one young man I photographed downtown a few times, and I came across him one day, and he told me he was applying for a job, he had a chance for a job. And I couldn't help but think, if the person hiring him, see the picture of, of him panhandling downtown, it may affect his chance of getting that job. I haven't seen him in five or six years, so hopefully he got that job and he's doing well. And speaking of panhandlers, I got something to say. Many of these men and women have mental health issues. Some have substance abuse issues and some have just had a hard time in life. And you can throw in the occasional con artists and unfortunately too many of them get tagged with that label. So I decided to change it up a bit and focus mainly on doing street portraits and capture some of those amazing faces I've been seeing. I also decided to ask anyone I thought might like having their portrait taken. And in the 2020, I photographed over 1,200 people from all walks of life. But I haven't given up trying to capture city life. And I also want to focus on capturing buskers as they add so much to the color and vibrancy of downtown. So that was the beginning of it for me, and it's been so great over the years to see people enjoy a little bit of the limelight. And it's also nice to see people light up when you pay a bit of attention to them. I'll leave links below to the website where I host these photos, and I've got more videos on street photography, the joy of photography, and creativity on the way.
Thanks for watching.